This is a journal I made a year or so ago and realised that I've never done a flip through of it. So here's a flip through. So it came about because I bought a box of ephemera from an auction and didn't really know what I was getting. But when I got it home, I found it all related um, to the life of one man called Harry Smith. So I decided that I wanted to pull all the information together and kind of honour his memory in a journal. So I made this, what I've called the Harry Smith Journal. So it's an altered book. Um, it was just a hardback book that I took all of the pages out of the middle and used the cover, um, covered it completely so there's no evidence of what the book was before. So the cover is made, um, I used a telegraph which was sent to him in 1949. Um, so that's on the front cover and the back and it's relating to his um, career in the RAF. Um, so this was to do with a Morse and wireless technology course that he went on. So from what I've been able to pick up, he was born in 1925. Um, so if he was still alive, he'd be 96 now. But I think he died in the 1990s. And I think the reason that his um, possessions came to auction fairly recently um, was I think his son may have died recently and passed on all of the stuff through to auction. So this is Harry. And the main sort of thrust of the journal relates to a relationship that he had with a woman called Rosa. So it appears that he went to Belgium during the war, um, he was a soldier there, and met this woman called Rosa. And then for several years, they wrote letters back and forth to each other. Um, initially, very loving letters, and then the relationship seemed to sour a little. Um, and I think ultimately um, they didn't stay together because I think he married somebody else. Um, but a lot of this relates to the relationship with Rosa. So this is Rosa here. She worked in her family's shop um, somewhere in Belgium. And that's um, one of Rosa's photos as well. I'm not sure if that's actually her because it looks a little bit different. Um, there's a poem there that it, um, Harry wrote that I've put in the background and various different sort of postcards and things and stamps from around that era. And then I've done kind of some stenciling over it. And this page, there's an envelope addressed to Harry. That's a photograph of his grandfather, a photo of Rosa. And this is another of his photographs. I think that said it was his grandfather in his car. Again, another original telegram that went to Harry there, um, a bit of a letter, some handwritten letter. This turquoise ink is a real kind of trademark of Rosa. She often wrote in this turquoise ink. And then I've just kind of done some mixed media and some stitching over it. This page, we've got a bit of old ledger paper, postcard from Brussels that was sent by Rosa. Um, this is a photo of Rosa and I've cut out part of the photograph and put some of her handwritten letter behind it saying my dearest Harry. So that was 10th of January 1951. This side has also got some of her handwritten um, writing underneath there. This page I made a pocket um, from a photo of Harry and a postcard there. That's actually to Ron, um, who I think is his brother from Harry. So that's Harry writing back home from Brussels. So I'm guessing that was, um, so that was 1948. So whether that was when he was, when he first met um, Rosa, I'm not sure. And um, letter there to Harry. It's another one from Rosa. 1951 and a photo there of Rosa, August 1949. Another photo there and this is Harry's birth certificate, the original document with a photo of him and his siblings there. So this was the 1st of February, um, sorry he was born the 1st of February this um, I'm not sure when that was actually taken. This little photograph album, sorry, photograph packet that would have come back from the developers, has a photo of Harry's mother and 
Old Market, which was one of Rosa's photographs. And um, my cousin Monique, the cat and I. So that's Rosa and her cousin and the cat. And this is one of Rosa's um, shots as well. So I'm not sure out of those which is her or whether she was actually taking the photo. And that's Rosa. Um, so this is a photo that she sent over to Harry. Again, some more of her turquoise handwriting behind there. I stitched on some beads um, and just sort of decorated it with floral cutouts. And this was a photo um, of a train. Harry was keen to go travelling. Um, this is something that he and Rosa seemed to argue about in their letters. He wanted her to leave home and go to New Zealand with him and she was very unsure about whether she wanted to do that um, and I think a little bit nervous about leaving her family to run the shop without her. Um, but this is sort of representing Harry wanting to go off. This is one of his documents from the Royal Air Force and little note there, I can't remember where that was from. I think it's um, Rosa's home address in Brussels. This is a photo of Rosa with a poem written by Harry that I've put behind the photo, so cut out part of the photo and put the words behind it. A photograph of Harry in his RAF uniform with his own handwriting giving his RAF details. And Harry and I don't know whether you call it a squadron I'm not quite sure um, but some of his RAF colleagues there and this one um, again just a sort of photo of him with um, birds and a kind of ocean theme on that one photograph there oh, sorry an old postcard this the back here is from a stamp album that was in the pack um, from the auction, so whether that belonged to him or his son, I'm not sure. Photograph there of Rosa, um, and again, I've extended the bridge and kind of done some mixed media there. All sorts of bits and bobs here, like receipts and what have you. Again, all original ephemera. Another photo of him there. He ultimately went to Rhodesia um, for a year or so, so was working out there. So a few of these photos are from when he was over there. And I've kind of given it this sort of warm tropical feel to kind of represent the African weather. Um, this was amongst his things, um, Union Castle Royal Mail Motor Vessel. I think this may be the boat that he sailed to Africa on. Certainly had quite a few pictures of it. And this is him on his motorbike. So it's a letter written in Harry's hand, au revoir chérie, please wait for me, I'll come back to you again, just you wait and see. Um, and I wrote a note there from Rosa. Please send me a few words, will you? Cheerio, Harry. God bless you. Your sincere friend, Rosa. And this is a christening card for um, Harry and his younger brother. And then finally, we've got a piece of his clothing ration book there and a photo of him, his brother, his mum and his granddad. And this last page, some more of the writing um, from Harry and Rosa and a picture of Harry. So I hope you enjoyed that flip through.